is the allotment site and that is my allotment with the polytunnel on it. Here in front of the allotment on the other side I've cleared the ground. Probably I may be planting gooseberries there um, from cuttings of the ones in my garden. To the right hand side of the polytunnel waste ground which is not strictly speaking part of my allotment but it's not part of anyone else's either so I may extend onto there a little bit to grow stuff that prefers to be outdoors. In the allotment we have on the right hand side I've created some deep beds with paths between them and when I came here this ground was flat and absolutely bone dry when I stuck the fork in and turned it over I threw up a cloud of dust now I've started creating beds on the left hand side and I'm going to be finishing that today it's now been watered with the hose which um, was very necessary and will have to be done regularly because obviously it doesn't get any rain the wheelbarrow belongs to a fellow allotment here who lent it me and very kindly said that I could keep it in here because he doesn't use it much and he can come and get it when he wants. There are some holes in the polytunnel wall as you can I hope see which I will be repairing today with that which is polytunnel repair tape. The two doors at the end are not doors they're just gaps so I'll have to be I'll have to do some joinery and make um, doors for them out the back there is a pile of wood which was inside the polytunnel and a compost heap which is not very well made because it's there's too much woody stuff in it but it will rot down eventually um, I'll have to mix it a bit more as well. There was a sapling there which I sawed down the other day. Here is a little outdoor cultivated area which was created by Alan the wheelbarrow owner um, and he grew a uh, courgette plant on it which Fenced area is a small life reserve which I helped create a few years ago as a matter of fact with the Hemel Conservation Volunteers inside somewhere on the north over there to the left of it is a most deliberately created as a boggy area it does seem to work as a wildlife reserve because there are a lot of frogs around and they're useful for eating various nasties and there's another view of the rough area which is going to take some work but I might do something with it and an outdoor view of the tunnel complete with holes which need repairing and that's that